Superdry's swung to a £4.2 million loss in its first half-year results under co-founder Julian Dunkerton since his return to the helm, the firm revealed today. The figures Superdry witnessed underlying profits implode as they sank 98.4% year-on-year to just £200,000 in the six months to the end of October. The fashion brand also made a loss before tax of £4.2 million down from a £26.4 million profit this time last year. Revenue shrank 11% to £369.1 million compared to a year ago while it also racked up a debt pile of £9.3 million, compared to a cash position of £19.2 million in 2018. Investors suffered a loss per share of 7.9p, versus 24.7p per share they pocketed this time last year. Meanwhile Superdry scraped together an interim dividend of just 2p per share, a 78.5% cut on last year's 9.3p. What Superdry said Julian Dunkerton, founder and CEO, said at this halfway point in our financial year, I am pleased with the progress we have made to comprehensively reset Superdry. We're doing this through our product and brand, our physical and digital retail operations and a renewed focus on the retailing basics. We are only eight months into a process that will take two to three years, but I have great confidence in the strength of our new executive leadership team. I am also pleased with the trajectory of performance we have seen from Q1 to Q2 and subsequently into our peak trading period, which gave us our biggest online trading day ever. However, we remain cautious about the challenging market conditions over the peak trading period. More to follow. For more on this story, visit the news article link.